Alrighty, how's it going guys? Andy here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a repot of my bonsai. This here cork bark elm. Now this is one of my favorite bonsais in my collection. I think it's a really lovely looking tree. The thing about cork bark elm is as its name suggests it has this really thick gnarled trunk that gives it a really nice sense of age and proportion and it's developed some really nice root structure down here as well and this has got some good memories as well it's quite a sentimental tree because um, I bought this in Cornwall when we were on holiday with my wife and she had actually sort of arranged a visit to a Japanese garden without telling me she'd researched it and found it and and took me to this place, which is a really nice surprise. And we had a lovely day looking around the Japanese gardens and they had a really amazing uh, bonsai store there and had just the most amazing selection of pots and bonsai. And at the time, this was a reasonably expensive tree for me. Um, it was quite a few years ago. I ummed and ahed about it and in the end, I decided to take it and it's almost been like a souvenir of the trip. Every time I look at it, I remember what a fantastic holiday it was, uh, how nice it was for my wife to arrange the visit, how much I enjoyed it. And I've got like a living souvenir of that holiday and I'm so glad I did decide to buy it. It's been an amazing plant there. Hard to get hold of these days, these cork bark elm because um, they have to be imported. And I think there's issues with uh, phytosanitary certificates and things because you can get insects living in the bark and stuff so I, I did hear I don't know if that's the case but there was some issue over supply of these trees and you know it's been a really nice addition to my collection I've had it for a number of years I'd have to try and figure it out but I'd say at least probably at least six or seven years maybe maybe longer probably around about seven years I'd say and um, in that time, I've never repotted it. It's not, it never showed any signs of, of struggling and uh, it seems to have been happy enough. So I've left it in the pot, but I think now is an appropriate time to uh, give it a fresh bit of soil, check out the roots and uh, yeah, and, and put it back in, in this pot. I quite like it in this pot. So I'm probably gonna keep it in here, just refresh the soil, take a look at the roots, maybe cut back some of the roots and uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll put it back in the pot. But yeah, I do love this uh, this tree and it's great to have some connection with with your plants as well when, when they have like a memory tag to them. So this is a particularly uh, favorite plant of mine just for that reason, it's, um, it's got good memories. So um, we're early in the season, it's probably grown a little bit more than I wanted to to, to repot, but we're still, still pretty chilly. We're in, uh, where are we, late April now. Uh, obviously, if you're new to bonsai, you want to try and repot at the beginning of spring uh, just so they have their longest possible time to recover uh, in the summer uh, because, you know, it's quite stressful pruning the roots and everything else like that. But um, yeah, I think it's appropriate time now. It's just starting to warm up. We've had a lot of really cold, frosty nights and I didn't want to rush it uh, and for it to really get affected by the frost. So I've been waiting a little bit longer and it has grown a little bit more than I would normally uh, want for a repot, but I think it should be fine. We're still very early on in the season. And um, yeah, so I think it should be fine. So let's get over to the bench and let's get started. Alrighty, so we're over on the bench now. Like I said, I've not actually repotted this before, so I have no idea. We've got some wire here, so it's obviously been wired into the pot. I can feel the wire at the bottom there. Um, it's quite weak wire, so I don't know. Let's just untether that and see how we get on. Oh yeah, it's come out perfectly. <laughs> like a perfect bonsai cake. We'll just take the quartz off the surface here for a moment. See what we've got. The wires had it. 
Okay, it wasn't wired into the pot. It just had a few pieces of gauze uh, and that was it. The roots seem pretty healthy. To be fair, there's moisture all the way through. Yep, seems to be fine. Got my bonsai tools here and my trusty fork. Thanks for a great rake when you're raking the soil. Really fine root structure. There's nearly a solid mass of roots in here now. Just raking the, the roots out a bit to get to the soil. It's always a good opportunity to inspect the root structure of the tree. Gives you a really good idea of the health of it. There's a lot of fine root growth, which is what you want to see. A nice mat of roots. So yeah, this looks good. I'm just working my way around slowly. Teasing out the roots and teasing out the, the soil in between the roots. some quite fine soil in here I imagine a lot of the soil from really deep by the trunk hasn't been changed in a long time I mean I haven't repotted this but it would have had several repots over its life I imagine but often people don't get round to the, the the parts really close to the trunk which is probably why it's so fine in there When you get to this stage, it's a good opportunity, like when you find roots like this, that are just starting to, to curl around in a circle. If we can straighten them out, now is a good opportunity to do that. Just, what you don't want is a load of curled round roots. So to spread them out a bit, will certainly will certainly help so as you can see as we're getting through here the roots are getting teased out so we can really see exactly what's going on with the roots which is what we want to do so we're just teasing we're taking the soil off and the roots are getting untangled at the same time. So we can spread them out, chop off some of the longer bits, put it back in the pot with some fresh soil. This is all we need to do. 
But yeah, the roots are looking really good and healthy. Lots of fine root growth, which is what we're looking for. The more roots, the more finer the roots, the more nutrients and moisture the, the plant can take up, the healthier bonsai tree you're gonna have. That's what we're left with, which is essentially the raked out root mass. And now we can straighten out these, cut off some of the longer pieces, and we're just left with some really nice, dense, healthy roots towards the base. And now there'll be plenty more room in the pot to add some fresh soil and let this grow again. cut down some of these longer pieces Go. And reuse the gauze. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's use a little bit of wire off cut to hold that in place. There we go, that's fine. I'm going to be using a prepared, already prepared bonsai mix from Kaizen Bonsai because I used to make my own, but you know what? It's getting harder and harder to find the right grade uh, bark. And um, to be honest with you, it ended up just being easier to, to buy it because um, this is really good stuff and uh, it just makes life easier to, to buy it in in exactly the right quantities of, of sort of bark and a bit of organic with some molar clay and everything else like that. So that's what I've gone for. Now this wasn't wired in, but as we've got it here, I may as well do a reasonable job and put some wire in there, hold it in place. All we're going to do is basically put some wire across it just to hold it in place. So we're going to go up through one of the holes. I want to go underneath these nice gnarled roots because probably going to keep some of those visible so i'm just going to weave it through there but still across some heavy pieces of um, roots so it's got good support and then i'm going to try and well actually yes yeah, usefully uh, 
showing us the way. So the two pieces of wire just meet up underneath. You can give them a twist around with some pliers just to add a bit more tension. Fold them down. That will now help, help keep it stable in the pot. Now, when we're putting the soil back, it's important to get the soil down into all the little crevices underneath the roots, in between the roots and everything. So rather than just dumping the soil in there, as you go, see if you can work it into all the crevices because you don't want any air gaps in between the roots. So use whatever you've got handy just to try and help the the soil down into there as and when you put a bit more in. You see, it's just have to be patient as you're working it through because you want to get the soil all the way through the roots and into all the crevices. So just take your time at this point and make sure it's all the way through. Alrighty, so there we have it. One repotted bonsai. So I'm pretty pleased with how that went. Everything looks nice and healthy. The roots look really good. We've been able to rake them out, put some fresh soil in, and now it's got some more room and space to grow new, fresh, invigorated roots. And it should be a happy and healthy bonsai for many years to come. Now I'll probably give it a bit of a trim up at some stage as well but um don't want to do everything at once because you don't want to overstress the plant just going to give it a good water now and let it recover and uh, just yeah look after it for uh, the coming few months and uh, you know enjoy watching and looking after this bonsai all right that's it for this one thank you very much for watching give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting or useful or both and subscribe if you're new around here as well because i have new houseplant and bonsai related content coming every single week all right that's it thanks for watching i'll catch you again soon bye for now